Today we're going to be installing rock guards on a C7 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing rock guards on a C7 Corvette from Extreme Online Store. Now, um, these are probably going to be one of the easiest installations that you've ever done and um, we've got it up on a lift here today to be able to show you where the screws are located, but you do not need a lift, you don't even need a jack to be able to put these up, okay? So you're going to be able to put these on in your garage or in your driveway very, very simply with a 7mm socket, okay? But we've got it up in the air just so you guys can see it. So they're all held on by springs, uh, spring clips, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. And there's one screw at the, in the front and in the back on these, and that's all there is to it. So they're very, very simple to install. So we're going to jump into the video right now. This is going to be a very short video, um, but it's very, very simple and a great, uh, a great mod, very inexpensive, great mod for you to do on your Corvette to protect the side of your car. Everybody's always doing stuff, you know, putting side skirts and all this other stuff on the car, but they don't ever think to be able to protect it from rocks. So, um, so just sit back and relax. And we're going to show you how you put these things on, okay? All right, guys, this is going to be a real simple installation. Now, we've got it on the lift, just to be able to show you guys where everything's at, but you don't have to do this on, uh, on a lift. You can do this on the ground, okay? So um, you would just need a 7-millimeter uh, wrench or socket to reach underneath here. There's one screw underneath here that allows this to come loose. So I'm just going to take it loose right, right from here. You can see right there, this one right here. I'm going to pull that screw out just like so. At that point I'm just going to set my drill down and then you can just reach underneath here and you can pop it loose. Okay, Just like that. And you can see here, they're just put on by clips, okay? So we're just going to reverse the order. So we're just going to grab the, grab the new, uh, uh, new rock guard, okay? And you've noticed that there's a clip right here. This clip, let me move the tire a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But you can see this little slot right here. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take this, take this right here, and you're going to put it into that slot. And you're just going to line up your holes into the slots in the car. Okay. Once you get that all lined up, you can see right here, you can pull it right here on the side. You can see that they just line up. Make sure that they're in there. Okay. And then at that point, you can push and just start tapping them in. Like so. That's all there is to that. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to put the screw back in place. Okay. And the front one's done. Okay. So we're going to go back to the back. Just going to straighten that out. And we'll go back to the back and we'll do the back ones. Okay, so guys, we're on the back and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do basically the same thing we did on the, the front side. Except the rear ones don't have that little tab that we were talking about. So this one's actually a little bit easier. There's actually three screws underneath here, but all we're going to do is we're just going to loosen these two, okay? We don't have to take those out, but we're going to take this one right here. We have to take that one out, okay? So we'll take that out, and then we'll just pull this loose, just like so, okay? I'll throw that one off to the side, and then we're going to go ahead and put this one in, okay? So this again, you're going to get it right back in the slot where it goes and then you're just going to kind of guide these in to the slots so you're not, you know, you know they're going to fit in there first before you force them in. And then you can just push them in, okay, just like so. And sometimes you have to, you got to wiggle them in there just a little bit, just like that. See that fits in there just like a glove. See that? Fits in there really nice. And then all you've got is you've just got your one seven millimeter screw that you're gonna put back in the bottom here. 
It's like that. We're going to snug up the other two. And that's all there is to putting on the rock guards um, on a C7. It's very, very simple and uh, it makes a big difference. Okay, and that's it, guys. All right, guys, that was as simple as you can get as far as installations go. So if you're in the market for some rock guards for your car, you know exactly where to go. Go to Extreme Online Store and they will be able to help you out. So you can get a, a complete set of those from Extreme Online and I'm gonna go ahead and put that information right here on the screen. And uh, like I said, they're a very, very simple installation like you just saw. Um, very simple. Uh, it probably doesn't take more, it probably takes more time to get your tools out than it does to put these on. So um, guys, I just want to thank you guys all for watching. Again, I'm going to ask you again, and I always do, is to please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. It really does help with my numbers. It helps with the subscription rate. It helps with how all of my sponsors help me out. Uh, to be able to bring you guys content. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, please do. Those of you that have, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So guys, real quick and down and dirty video today, but it's well worth it. So guys, if you guys need any, you know where to go. So thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.